Hello, it's Beth from Be Styled. Welcome. I wanted to first introduce myself because I'm not in one of my groups where I usually am. I am on my business page, Be Styled Personal Styling. So I wanted to introduce myself if you are new to me. My name is Beth Roy and I am the founder of Be Styled. And I'm blinking a lot. <laughs> um, and basically what I do is I help grown up women with real bodies and real budgets just get dressed. And when I say just get dressed, what I mean is not getting dressed up or all fancy and vain and frivolous. Um, what I mean is using the must do habit of getting dressed every day, putting clothes on your body every day. It's something we have to do, right? Um, taking that and leveraging it and using that habit, that daily routine to make, your, make yourself look better, feel better, and be better, do better, be happier. So that's who I am. Welcome. I thank you for joining me. Um, today, what I wanted to do is share with you my five heavy hitter pieces that are very likely in your closet. And these are pieces that I recommend over and over and over again that have the most impact, that um, are so easy but so impactful. And what do they do? Um, they make you look more modern. Um, Raise your hand or let me know if you've ever clicked on a Facebook ad, for example, that says, you know, do this to look 10 years younger, or do this to look five years younger, or do this to look to look 10 pounds lighter, things like that. It's clickbait, right? Um, I know I, I fall for it all the time. Um, in fact, true confession here, I have, a, or have had a Facebook ad that did say something to the effect of about looking 10 years younger. Um, it was an ad for my, my signature product, which is my style system planner. Um, and I, I, I don't think I'm gonna use that same ad. It was very, very effective, I will say, but I don't love the wording. It came highly recommended to me, and like I said, it was very effective. But my goal is never to, to make people, you know, fall for this whole, I need to look younger, you know, craze. Um, but I do think, as women, and most of, my, most of my ladies are over 40, all the way up to 70s. Um, and, and while they might not wanna look, they don't wanna look young, that's for sure. A surefire way of to look old is to try to look young, right? <laughs> uh, so they don't wanna look young, but they do wanna feel good. They wanna look good. There's nothing wrong with that, ladies. Um, and what, what I think the goal is, at least my personal goal, is to look modern and to look current, um, not trendy, but modern and current and fresh. Because, you know, we are, we are, we, we need to be seen, ladies. Just because we're over 40 doesn't mean you're, you're, you're gonna be invisible. And I know some, some women wanna be invisible over 40. They've convinced themselves they wanna be invisible. They wanna like not draw attention. Um, and I think that's sad. So I'm not, I'm not all about going crazy with this either, ladies. I take very practical steps but I see it every day. My winter program is winding down now and the transformation I've seen, if any of you are here, pipe in and let us know your experience, but the transformation I've seen in terms of just the way these women are carrying themselves, standing up and smiling and, and interacting, the transformation is tremendous. I had one woman who I've gotten to be very close with and she's completely transformed herself. High, high performing woman um, who was really struggling with her style and for, biz, for, for some professional reasons really needed to kick things up. Um, and she came to me and we start, we've worked very closely together and I asked her, you know, how did you find me? And she said she was on Facebook and she said I was doing the death scroll, I think, or the doom scroll, the doom scroll in the middle of the night. Like who's ever done that in the middle of the night where you're like, I'm in such a fr I'm in such a rut. I feel so frumpy. I just hate the way I look. I hate the way I feel. She was in that mode. It was the very end of the year. It was right around New Year's, and my ad popped up. And then she went to my sales page, and she said something in, in the sales page. It was a lot of like the before and after. She was like, "Oh, I'm doing this." And needless to say, it has it has really you know changed her life. So I'm going to drop a link to the spring program because that's launching in March, which is like next week. Let's get launching um, in the next week or two, earlier for, for winter members and then to the public, everybody else by March 15th. But what I wanted to share with you are the five things 
that I've seen really have an impact, especially this past season with women in my group, okay? So without further ado, I'm, I actually have them here. Pull them out of my closet. Um, I wanna see if, any, if you have questions, let me know. I'm gonna put my glasses on. Um, I don't think so. So I'm just gonna get going and uh, start with what I always say, the two, the two probably most important things in your closet or categories and the most difficult. <laughs> And the things that people avoid and don't want to shop for are, you know, pants and shoes, okay? So I try to simplify things. You know, that's what my whole approach is with this style system, is to simplify things. You don't need a ton of things. You don't need 100 pair of shoes. Sorry, Elise Elliott, if you're out there, <laughs> my, my, my local Imelda Marcos, you don't need a million pairs of shoes. If you love shoes and you collect them, I'm all for that too. But I don't want you to feel overwhelmed and think, oh, she's gonna tell me I gotta go buy all new shoes, it's gonna be so expensive and I already have shoes and it's just too hard, so I'm gonna shut her up. <laughs> don't, don't shut me up. Listen to me, okay? Just bear with me. Shoes and pants, you don't need a lot, but they need to be good. They need to be good for you, okay? And that's what I like to help people find. So I'm gonna give you some general suggestions. Um, I'm gonna start with pants. Um, two pairs, two kinds of pants that I would say you need. One is a pair of black knit, like I prefer Ponty knit pants, pull on, stretchy, comfortable, polished, wear them all day long, wear them to work at your law firm. I've talked about them all the time. I have a pair right here, simple, no nothing. They don't have pockets, which I know can be a bummer, but pockets can be a problem that pockets can add um, bulk. They have faux pockets in the back, you know, so they don't, so they're not leggings. You're not wearing your daughter's leggings. They are real live pants. They have a straight leg. They're an ankle length. They pull on. They have a flat waistband, so they smooth things out, suck things up. You need a pair of these babies in your closet. You know, you don't need your your ten year old black trousers that are probably really out of style. I mean, they're just not going to make you look modern. A pant like this will. Okay, I will post links to all these. You might know Peach is my favorite, discoverpeach.com, and then I'm your stylist. Anyway, these are from Peach, but you can find Ponty pants everywhere. Just Google them. But these, these have been a winner. Again, in my group, I've seen women like say, I don't think I want those, and they try them on, and they're like, I'm never taking them off, okay? So, Ponty pants. Number two, jeans. We all wear jeans. Doesn't matter. Anyone who says, I'm too old to wear jeans, you're wrong. You're, you're just wrong. And that's my opinion. If you think you're too old, then that's fine. But my opinion is you're never too old to wear jeans. And there's a lot of crazy brouhaha on the internet, if you're aware about how the young kids say skinny jeans are out of style and, and all the 40-year-olds and 30-year-olds are going crazy because they love their skinny jeans. I'm here to tell you, if you love skinny jeans, wear your skinny jeans. But there is an alternative that's not crazy. I'm not telling you to go buy like those barrel leg jeans or big wide leg jeans or dad jeans or mom jeans or whatever, crazy stuff. You can, I, I, I might, but you don't have to. But an alternative to skinny jeans that will just look a little more modern but aren't really that different is a straight leg jean. You probably, even, you might even have a straight leg jean, okay? But um, I have two examples here that I love. One has an awful name, but I do love them. They're very, they are like a throwback to you know our youth. They're Levi's. They are Levi's. They're called the wedgie jean. No, they don't give you a wedgie. Technically, they're supposed to make your butt look good. I, I, I don't know. I've never looked at my butt in them. But anyway, they're called the wedgie jean. And they're just a straight leg, like from the old days, ladies. But they're current. They're, they're current and they're cool, okay? And I'll post a link to them. The Levi's wedgie jeans. They come in a million different washes. Mine is sort of a mid, 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 light mid wash. Mine don't, don't have any distressing, but if you want distressing or you want a hole or two, I support that as well. If you don't, if you hate it, that's fine. Let's not judge each other's ladies. Things like holes in jeans make people crazy. People get really crazy. I say, if you like it, wear it. If you don't like it, don't wear it. And you don't have to get crazy about it. Okay, so straight leg jeans. Here's another option. The, a favorite of, a, of many of us is the, it's the girlfriend or boyfriend jean, which is a comfortable jean that is, it's straight leg, it's cuffed. You can cuff your straight leg jeans that you might already own to give them that boyfriend kind of look. They're comfortable, they're not skin tight like skinnies, but they're still, they're still cuffed. They're still um, a flattering silhouette. They're, they're not like these new crazy silhouettes, which 
can be great too. <laughs> okay. Uh, mine are the Catherine, the cut from the cloth Catherine. Mine have a tiny bit of distressing right here and um, maybe right here. But other than that, they're, they're just sort of a, a darker wash than the other ones. But that's a great way to have an alternative to skinny jeans so that your daughter can't make fun of you if you care. I'm kidding. But that's an alternative to skinny jeans. Okay, so that's what I have for pants for you guys. That's number one, pants. Number two, shoes. Okay, shoes are important. You can have a great outfit, but you wear bad shoes and it goes, it goes down the tubes. I'm sorry, it's true. I mean, I'm wearing slippers right now. Talk about bad shoes. Right now, we're not wearing a lot of shoes. But in the springtime, we will be. So, um, and, and if you're going to work right now, you're, you're wearing shoes. If you're going out of the house, you're wearing shoes. So you don't need a lot of shoes. You need good shoes. I have three categories to show you. One, especially for this time of year and the fall, early spring, neutral, taupe. I like taupe. It could be tan. A, a neutral color, like not dark brown, um, not gray even, just a, a non-color color like taupe. I see the women in my group who, who go and just, all they do is change their, their same outfit and they just put these shoes on and all of a sudden they look just so fresh and modern and they feel great too. So these are the Mark Fisher Yales. I also have Blondos that they are on sale for like $50 at Nordstrom. I will post a link. Taupe suede booties. I say they're better than black. If you only are gonna get one pair of booty, I think taupe looks better. Looks, I think I like it better with denim. I wear them with black. They're just modern, okay? So that's, so we got, we've got our pants, we've got our shoes. Or, or I've got another pair, two other pairs of shoes. One is a pair of white sneakers. So everyone who says, well, Beth, I can't wear cool shoes because my feet hurt all the time. You can find a pair of white leather sneakers and your feet will thank you, okay? And you can wear them with your with your jeans with your girlfriend jeans boyfriend jeans straight leg jeans and your skinny jeans okay wear them all the time can't wear them to the office i understand that but you can wear them just about all the other time and you will look hip and modern and number Whoa. three is a dog is my leopard Whoa. loafers another Whoa. oh shh. uh dog Whoa. sorry <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. oh goodness now we got them all Whoa. going shh. connor Whoa. get your dog I asked him, sorry, <laughs> live video. Anyway, this is another, another item that, don't knock my tripod off, thank you. Another item that I see women at first in my group are like, leopard lower now and leopard loafers, that's crazy. And they get them and they're like, me, ow. And these are great for work. They are great. They go with everything. You don't have to match them. Leopard is a neutral, Le leopard is a, a, like a neutral pattern. Sorry about the noise, okay? So leopard flats. You know, if you really aren't gonna wear leopard, um, just a pair, of, a pair of flats or loafers in a color like this, like suede especially, or mules, is a, is a great everyday shoe that is better than black, I argue, okay? That's the shoes. Number three, your jacket, okay? I know we're not wearing a lot of jackets. We're wearing things like this, like, you know, I'm wearing this like a blanket practically, it's a wrap. But a jacket, ladies, is such a great way to just make, your look, make you look cool, make you look pulled together, polished, like you have your act together, even if you don't. Um, and they don't have to be dressy, they don't have to be stiff, they don't have to be uncomfortable. I have, I have four to show you really quickly, you know me quick is relative, but I'm gonna to try to speed this up. Um, number one, because I talked about the black Ponty pants, is my black Ponty blazer, also by Peach. I talk about it all the time, can't say enough about it. It's got the curved hem. It is so flattering. It is as comfortable as putting on a zipped up sweatshirt. I kid you not. Any of you who have it can attest to it. It is that comfortable. It is this, it is, if you were to ever go on a trip again, you can roll it up in a ball, stuff it in your suitcase. It doesn't wrinkle. It's machine washable. It's soft. It's seasonless year round. It's just, it's a no brainer. I might even put it on just so you can see what it looks like on. Um, and it just elevates your outfit. Okay, perfect example. I went from wearing my cozy to now I'm like, 
I'm like gonna go give a presentation, you know, for the board of selectmen. I don't know, I'm not, but um, I'm gonna go call the dog, the dog person though, dog pound. Um, but anyway, it just elevates my outfit. It's got the curved hem, it's, it's comfortable. I, you know, can move in it. I don't feel stuffy, it's great, okay? So you need a blazer. I think black, gray, white blazers are great. What's great about a neutral like black is, again, it goes with everything, okay? So um, now for a more casual option um, is the, the, the jean jacket. What better way to just look modern and hip and cool than with a jean jacket? I have two. I have my trusty that I've had. If you've been around these parts for a while, you know my cut from the cloth has got to be going on five years. I always say it's my single favorite possession. Um, it is now on sale for, for, I don't know what, half price, I think. What's happening? Something's happening on my, anyway, it's going, it's on sale. And I think it's because this style is probably um, phasing out. The, the light, light wash might not be the most current, but I still love it. But Peach, my beloved Peach, did come out with a medium wash um, jean jacket, denim jacket, which, I don't know if you can see, is... It's, it's as comfortable as my Ponte blazer, but in the form of a, of a really cool hip jean jacket. So it comes in, um, this one's brand new in this great, kind of an elevated denim. You know, it's not as, it's definitely not as casual and distressed looking as this. It's much more polished. So that's, that's the peach denim jacket. It also, they also came out with it last year in white. Um, and this one's on sale and I'm afraid it might be going fast, but a white jean jacket is another Great thing to have, especially in the spring and summer, just to throw on over your t-shirt, jeans, shorts, dresses, and you just up your cool quotient, okay? And there's nothing wrong with looking cool, right? Um, so that was, jackets were number three. So now we're on to number four, which if you know me is my favorite accessories, your jewelry, your jewelry, your jewelry can age you. I would, I would, hazard, I have to say it, I think jewelry can be an aging thing. Um, I know we love our really fine, you know, expensive, great jewelry, but, um, you know, really dainty things and can, 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 can make you look older than you are. Don't you think? Does anyone agree with me? Or, or again, this is all personal opinion, wear what you love. But um, the kind of what's in style right now are the layered looks, more, more dainty, versus, you know, big, big, chunky. Remember the big bubble necklaces from, I mean, Jamie and I used to sell stuff like that back in the early to, early 2000s, I think. Um, anyway, now now these more dainty type necklaces. This is, this is, speaking of Jamie, this is a flirty fine necklace, comes in gold and silver. These, um, pa these like links, paper clip, I think they're called. I always confuse paper clip, safety pin. I don't know, I always get it wrong. <laughs> like, but, the, but links. Gold and silver links are very on trend. And this gives you that layered look, it's just one necklace. And then I threw on my pendant. So what I would say is you, you, you need just your basic everyday necklace, maybe something even more simple than this, and your basic everyday long, so short and long. Then you need, I would say, hoop earrings. Hoop earrings are a great way to look modern and hip. If you hate hoops, then just get a pair of studs, like a pair of CZ studs, or if you have diamond studs, um, break them out and wear them, okay? These are all, all these things that I've talked about, from the pants to the shoes, to the jacket, to the jewelry. These are things I think are in your closet, and I think a lot of times we say, well, you know, I'm not gonna put that jacket on because I'm not going anywhere, I'm not doing anything. So it sits in your closet, and it collects dust, and it's a waste. <laughs> When you can put it on, I mean, we're not going to the dry cleaner with this or anything, but put it on and feel better. And, you know, eventually you're going to be going out if you aren't already. Some of you are already able to go out, which, you know, yay. <laughs> the end is near, I hope. Um, but these things are in your closet. And just by adding these simple things, putting on a jean jacket instead of, you know, your gym hoodie, Putting on a blazer, like a cool blazer, instead of not instead of you know a rain or I don't know an example, a better example instead of just a sweater even instead of putting on a sweat just a boring sweater, 
put on your jacket, put on a t-shirt and a jacket. Um, and, and jeans, you know, if you're looking to get new jeans this spring, consider a straight leg, even if you're, you know, tied to your skinnies. Um, for skinnies are new to a lot of people I know, you know, they're, they've just come around to skinnies and they're like, what? I just finally got used to the idea of skinnies and you're telling me they're out of style. No, they're not out of style. They are just not as in style, but trust me, go to Nordstrom and type in like cut from the cloth. I just did this to grab the link. If you go to come, the first four pairs they show are skinny jeans. Skinnies are not going anywhere. And for a lot of people, they are just the best. So wear them. But if you're looking for something different, consider a straight leg. Okay, last, my last and fifth item is a berry lip or a, a lip with a little bit of color. Again, I know you're saying, Beth, why would I put lipstick on? I'm wearing a mask. I'm not going anywhere. I'm talking about when you do go somewhere or if you're just, you know, hanging out with your husband or, or hanging out with your kids or whatever. It, it, it's a mood boost to do something as simple as slapping on a little bit of, you know, lip gloss. I mean, this this stuff, this is this is the, the Lip Genius, I think, by Beauty Counter. It, it goes on like a, it's, it's like putting chapstick on, but it gives you a little bit of a, br a blush of color. Um, so find the color that works for you, that brightens up your face. I, I love a good berry lip. You know that about me. Um, or, if you're, or if you like more moisture, they, there's a gloss. This is like glass. It goes on. This is what I have on right now. Okay. So do we have any questions, ladies? Are we going to take advantage of these genius tips that I'm sharing with you and just try it? Wear a jacket. Wear good pants. Find good pants. Stop buying a million tops. Everyone buys tops. Oh, I saw this great top. They have 3,000 tops in their closet, a lot with their tags on, and then they they don't have pants that look great. So, you know, it's, it's what good is a top without pants, right? So stop buying tops. You have tops. I know you ladies have tops. Buy good pants. It's not fun. It's not easy. It takes a lot of trial and error. Fortunately, you can, you know, everywhere I shop does shipping, you know, free returns, and a lot of times they have free shipping. Um, so just try, order a couple sizes, something in my eye, order a couple sizes if you're not sure. If it's peach, reach out to me. I can give recommendations on sizes um, and get good pants. Three or four pairs. I, I always say uh, uh, four pairs of pants is all I would really need in my life. Um, and uh, if you join the style system, you'll learn which four they are. <laughs> but one of them is black pants. Actually, two of them are black pants and jeans. So there, I just gave you half right there. <laughs> um, anyway, so I hope you would consider joining the style system in the spring when it becomes available. I'm going to drop a link to sign up for the, um, for the wait list. Or if you know you're already getting my emails, then you will automatically find out about it. But look for that to come out in by March 15th at the latest. Um, spring might not be here, but we can at least start, you know, transitioning. And I'm going to have a lot of tips for how to, how to dress for spring, even if it's freezing out where you are, or how to dress for spring if it's hot where you are, because I have people all over the country. Um, and I had people doing the winter program who were in Florida and, well, you know, they're in like 75 degree weather and we're up here in the Arctic. Um, and everyone was able to, to follow the same plan and adapt it. So it's, it's really, it's really good stuff, let me tell you. So um, I just wanna make sure I don't have any questions. Um, I, you know, if I do, I can't see them and I don't have glasses handy. Oh, look at all you wonderful people are here. I thank you. And if, if there's anyone who you think would enjoy this video or would enjoy these tips, forward, just share this message, this video with them. I'd appreciate that. And, um, Thanks for watching, and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.